I yield two minutes to the Honorable Chairman of the Financial Services Committee, Mr. Jeb Hensling of Texas. The gentleman from Texas recognized for two minutes. I thank the gentleman for yielding, and I thank him for his leadership on this critical piece of legislation. Mr. Chairman, every president in the history of our republic, from George Washington to Barack Obama, has raised their right hand and said, I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of the President of the United States and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Clause 4, Section 8 of Article 1 of the Constitution says, The Congress, the Congress shall have power to establish a uniform rule of naturalization. When we as a body read the Constitution on the House floor last week, I had the honor of reading this very section for all here. Section 3, Article 2 of the Constitution says, The President, he shall take care that the laws be faithfully executed. But never in the history of our republic has a president so blatantly ignored his oath. We know our president has a pen. We know he has a phone. We just wonder, when will he acquire a copy of the Constitution and read it? His executive action on immigration is an unconstitutional power grab. It tramples on the authority that the Constitution gives Congress, the people's elective representatives, over immigration. It ignores the separation of powers. We cannot let it stand. Co-equal branches of government, separation of powers, the rule of law, these must be preserved. And in this bill, as amended, we do this by exercising the House's constitutional power of the purse. And this DHS funding bill, as amended, will achieve this. The debate is much bigger than immigration. It is much bigger than amnesty. It is about our Constitution. It is about the principle of separation of powers. It is the bedrock of our freedom and prosperity as Americans. I yield back the balance of my time.